The Midrash tells us that when Moshe Rabbeinu received the instructions from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, from God to build the Mishkan, the tabernacle, he was uh, he was completely uh, uh, overwhelmed. He he was uh, uh, struck. The Hebrew says Shlosha Devarim Shema Moshe Mepia Gvura V'Nivhal V'Nirta Lachora. There are three three things that Moses heard directly from God, and when he heard it, he was terrified and 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 fell back. And one of them was the 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 mitzvah in our parsha of Asuli Mikdash, to build a uh, tabernacle, a sanctuary. And Moshe Rabbeinu said, "Hinei Hashemayim Ushmei Hashemayim Lo Yechal Kalucha." How can you know the the heavens, the entire universe, cannot contain God? How can how can we build a sanctuary in which God will be located? Uh, the midrash puts in Moshe's mouth. The exact phrase used by Shlomo Amelech in, in the dedication of the Beit Hamikdash, the famous prayer, Tfilot uh, Shlomo Amelech, uh, w- when the construction of the Beit Hamikdash was completed and it was you know, uh, sanctified and, and dedicated for use, opens uh, with a question: Ki haomnam yeshev Elohim al haaretz. How can God be in one place on the earth when the entire universe can't contain him? How can he be in one little building? Rav Salavechik tells us that the Rav, that, that this is a question that has no answer. There is no explanation how the infinite, the unbounded, can restrict itself to one one little uh, building in, in in one town in one country, uh, and in fact, Shlomo Melech doesn't try to answer it, neither does Moshe Rabbeinu. In the prayer uh, that Shlomo Melech recites uh, at the dedication of the Beit Hamikdash, after asking this question, which has no answer, he goes on and talks instead about the various uses to which the temple will be will be placed. Uh, it will be it will be a place for prayer. It will be a place for people who have uh, quarrels. If they will want to take an oath that their their right their version is correct, then taking an oath at at, at the at the Beit Hamikdash will sort of uh, make uh, the oath much more powerful because the the penalty for taking making a false oath in, in a holy place is presumably much worse. And he goes on with the lists. Uh, if there's a, a military defeat, uh, a uh, drought, a famine, and then he summarizes: Kol Tfila, Kol Tchina, Asher Tia Lechol Adam, Lechol Amcha Yisrael. Emphasizing everything, every prayer that any person in in the entire Jewish people have. I say Yedun Ish Nega Levavo. People know their own problems. We we are aware each each and every one of us of his or her own what we really you know uh, bothers us, what what makes us uh, feel uh, in need of, of prayer, in need of divine help. Uh, and 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 when for for those personal issues that that eat that are private each person, you know, tis or herself, who for us can have a bite as a raise his hands up to this house. So, again, so we don't know, we cannot possibly answer the question how God can uh, restrict himself, contract himself, uh, shrink to fit in, you know, to be located into one building, but we do know the purposes uh, are for the temple. And these purposes, I think, these these uses uh, these uh, uh, you know uh, 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 reasons for being uh, can be applied just as well to the shul. Vasuli mikdash is the mitzvah to build the Beit Hamikdash. Uh, no one, none of the classical uh, uh, Rambam and others of the classical people who wrote Minyan Hamitzvot counted the mitzvot uh, counted building a shul, a mikdash ma'at, a synagogue as a mitzvah. 
but the Urayim, I think, was the first to say that you know that building a a, a synagogue is uh, is 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 included in this in this in this biblical commandment. So, why do we need synagogues? Well, basically, for the same reason that that that, that Shlomo Melech mentioned. I mean, there may be all sorts of other reasons, social reasons, a focal point for the community, and so on. But there's also this idea of sacred space, and I want to make clear what what I mean by that. Uh, now, you know, whether there's a special sgulat a special uh, a significance, a special spiritual uh, something or other that resides in the Beit Hamikdash, in the precise location in 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 Yerushalayim, that certainly can be true, and it, it goes back to uh, the Akeda, which was taking place there, and even the, according to some midrashim, Adam Harishon. But when it comes to the, any particular synagogue, uh, no, there's no reason to to go into any uh, mystical. Or otherworldly reasons for the for the significance, just having a special place that's set aside for prayer produces, I think, the desired effect, because when you have that special space that is that's designated for prayer and for nothing really other than prayer, and for 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 people as a community and as individuals pouring out their hearts and 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 and, and making. The requests that are that that, that that press upon us so hard, so 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 strongly, uh, you act differently there. There's a certain demeanor, a certain uh, sanctity that even in our own days, where people seems to have have, have have been lost almost the rudiments of civilization, but there's a certain demeanor. You dress differently, you act differently, you don't you don't talk. Uh, 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 you don't talk uh, the same way that you would talk otherwise uh, and i think this demeanor that people assign to the to the to the shul is is what 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 gives the place the, the atmosphere it's nothing not it's not any mystical uh sense or, or something or other some spirit that descends there it's just that when when everyone who goes into this particular place acts differently and behaves differently and Thinks differently and, and 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 focuses their mind on on the right things, that gives the place the sanctity, and that is why we need synagogues, and that's why the synagogues are a place of prayer, not just for the communal prayers and the, and the the prayers on Shabbat and the holidays, but a lot of and they're not just as a place where people sit and and learn, but even many many people who have their own particular issues will. Go to, to to a find a synagogue, or if not, have a certain a place, space in their house, which set aside for sitting there and just being in that place and knowing here, um, I'm detaching myself from the run of the mill, and focusing my mind on on uh, on on, the, on prayer. This gives the place a sanctity and the desired result. Thank you very much, and Shabbat Shalom.